First Sergeant Cap here with Company D, Second United States Sharpshooters. And today we are going to talk about a very important and often overlooked element of reenacting, military courtesy, and more specifically, saluting officers. So we're going to take you through some scenarios and hopefully you can learn some valuable tips about military courtesy in order to have a more authentic experience in the hobby, but to also provide that experience for other people by knowing how to be a respectful soldier. Is this your card? How about this one? Yeah. This oh, hey. No! How about this one? All right, so not there. 52, 54. Touch it! No, no, no. So that was back on the fourth, right after Gettysburg, and I got up on the on the uh, fence like this, and then that's when that's when Gray got killed. We'll work on you. Circle. So with the past few scenarios that you saw, uh, there was quite a few courtesies that were not given to myself um, as a demonstration. Obviously, soldiers sitting around in camp, no duty to do, perfectly fine. However, when an officer approaches in camp, they should come to attention. The senior most person should salute, and which kind of salute to give will be covered here in just a couple minutes. Uh, however, addressing an officer by their first name, even if you know it or do not know it, is not the prom uh, proper courtesy to be giving. So obviously, uh, with Private Saracen, just, hey, Ethan, would not fly, even in modern military. It would have been, you know... Everyone would have stood, uh, Corporal Soderling would have saluted, uh, and from there, uh, good afternoon, Captain, anything like that. However, from there, when an officer enters camp, there's only one proper way to salute, and we've seen people do the, the bear claw, we've seen people do the, the very modern military salute, uh, I've seen one person actually do the British salute like that, and they're partly right. The only way to salute an officer if you are in camp is you address officer in camp, the senior most person, gives the palm out salute, One is once it is returned, you know, told to carry on, things like that, go back to having a, a relaxing time. Corporal of the Guard! He's fixing this man. So with this particular situation, Private Severson is absolutely right being on guard duty with a company grade officer, so that is your second lieutenant to a captain approaching a guard or any soldier that is under arms going to the sergeant salute. However, Private White over here went to present arms. For a field grade officer, that is your majors all the way up to your generals, national colors, or the president of the United States, present arms is the only way you would uh, come to a formal salute, being from that major all the way up to the president. <clears throat> so, Private White was not correct, however, Private Severson finally seems to get saluting right after how many times of being slapped. Really glad. Officer in camp! I give up. So with this certain uh, scenario that we have, uh, there's been quite a few little issues. Uh, first one, we're indoors. Unless you are under arms, like myself, because I have my sword, my pistol, or uh, Private White here, who is also under arms, being with his uh, bayonet, that is technically a sidearm, it's a weapon, Therefore, he would be permitted to wear his cap indoors. Uh, the second part of this, with Corporal Soderling saluting, um, while yes, he is trying to show the proper courtesy, we're indoors, you do not salute indoors unless you are armed, uh, much like Private White was. Uh, so, uh, Corporal Soderling, as you were, <clears throat> uh, those of you who are not armed, please remove your caps. Thank you. Uh, it's also just uh, common etiquette. Uh, even in modern military, as soon as you enter uh, 
a building if you are not under arms to remove your cap or uh, cover if you want to use uh, today's modern military speak. Uh, again, it's one of those things that's often overlooked with uh, reenactors and living historians as a whole is uh, entering door uh, or entering a building, entering a tent or under a fly since that is technically a structure, uh, even though there's no sides to it or anything like that. It still technically counts as that. Uh, it's just, like I said, one of those things that really gets often overlooked and uh, something to definitely work on if you're uh, anywhere from a private all the way up to an officer because officers still had to follow those rules and still have to follow those rules even in today's modern military. So we hope this video has been informative and can be useful for your unit. Uh, it's, it's great for new reenactors and old reenactors alike. It's a great refresher. And uh, it's easy to overlook when we get really focused on gear and drill to overlook the importance of everyday Civil War military courtesy. And uh, also its importance to creating a nice immersive experience for everybody in the hobby to live and feel that military life in camp. Uh, thanks for liking and subscribing. Uh, thanks for commenting. And if you think someone else can benefit from this video, please feel free to share it. And we'll see you next time.